Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Minnesota Fats. I'm your host, Patrick. With the wonderful wifey with me, we're in Fairmont, Minnesota. We are going to go to a place called The Ranch. It's super early morning, and we're hungry, so it's time to eat. Let's go. The bestest retaining wall work ever. Oh. Very much needed. Pretty big parking spots, or parking lot, I should say. First initial thoughts, the aroma coming from this place is amazing. Let's hope the food is just as good. Look at that, there's Kevin Bacon. That's what it says. Thank you. <laughs> you can follow these guys. Not sure where they're going to lead you to. Oh, wow. Some detail in that baby. Wonderful, thank you. Yep. What would you like to drink? Oh, uh, Pepsi. Pepsi, yep. Water, please. Water. So here we have, I guess, a caramel roll. <laughs> I, I see something sticky on there. I don't know if it's syrup or what. But, uh, sure, that works. So here's her Mexican omelet. Boy, is this thing looking good. Uh, we'll, hopefully she'll cut that open soon. We got toast. I got some yummy pork chops with some hash browns and eggs. And, God, yeah, this is looking very good. I can't wait to get into that pork chop. Oof, duh. We got like a whole pepper in that baby. A lot of, lot of meat. All right, let's dig in. We said our prayers, so we're ready. I forgot what I was going to look up. I don't know. All right, so the ranch. Wifey says... And what she says goes. Um, she wasn't a fan of the Pepsi. Granted. I took a sip of it. It tasted like diet. She didn't like it. So the gal like. No problem. Someone else poured it. Maybe it was their mistake. I'll personally pour it. Got the new cup. It's either... It's either diet, like they switched the syrup boxes, or it's running low on syrup and it's more carbonation salsa than the flavor. That's neither here nor there. She went out of the way and actually mixed orange juice and pineapple juice and made my wife a orange pineapple drink, which was really good. Um, her burrito enormous amounts of flavor out of that taco meat i even had just a nitty bitty sample that i don't know what they put in there for seasonings but it was like spot on really good a lot of green pepper in there big chunks of green pepper it was really flavorful and good 
her only downfall to the burrito was the toppings on it were cold which she says even though when you have a taco generally your lettuce and tomato and cheese are cold sprinkle it on but she says with this when it was cold plus with the egg She's like, it was just kind of weird with the egg. So next time she'd either say no toppings or mix the toppings in. So in that way it warms up. She's weird. I know, folks. Oh, I, I think I caught that on film. That's abuse there. It's at least twice in the two years. Uh, I have scars, see? But... <laughs> Uh, myself, that caramel roll was just as sad as yesterday's. It was better, but these folks down here in southern Minnesota don't know how to do it. They're, they're missing out. They're missing out. Uh, I had, <clears throat> pardon me, I had the pork chops, very very good pork chops juicy um there's like no tallow or fat on them they were really good the eggs were eggs hash browns are hash browns it is what it is um it was good as far as a rating goes my wife says eight and a half i'm gonna say probably yeah eight and a half just like your general Perkins Denny's type I mean nothing to write home about but yet nothing to like give them a bad review about it's just it, it's good we'll leave it at that wonderful service lots of gals running around um, bussing tables, getting orders, bringing drinks. So they're always like right there. Really good. So service wise, amazing. Uh, that's about it. You folks have a wonderful day and may God bless.